So what is architecture? It is about uh, keeping surprise alive. Uh, it is about bodies moving in space, not always straight, and turning the head. It's about creating uh, dialogues between different um, uh, ambiences. And it is also about the possible joy and pleasure people may have by inhabiting different spaces, I would say. Okay, and what can architecture do? Um, I think it is about uh, creating a platform for activities. So I can see it as a support. Architecture can't solve, I think, problems. It's not meant for that, but it's, it's a platform for activities. And so people that inhabit architecture do appropriate spaces and finally identify to it. And I think this is a very strong potential. And uh, so how do you position yourself in architecture? We believe that architecture has a great expressionist potential. And uh, we quite clearly refer also to expressionism in history. Uh, it happens that the global world strives more and more to anonymous spaces, which uh, tend to look more and more the same. And even though Expressionist architecture is not always wanted by the commissioners or by, by the society in general. It has this potential to create a counterpoint to these um, neutral environments. And are there maybe some architects or theories that you look up for inspiration? Or, um... We uh, look very much to, to the arts, actually. Um, more than uh, maybe, well, of course, architecture history makes part of our everyday and um, we look back to the history uh, more than once and uh, we try to find people that uh, talk about certain issues that we are interested in such as um, um, people in literature that work with dirty realism so realities that surround us are not always pity to look at but that turned to become interesting over fictional um, attempts. And th this is one, one part of it, of course, but then also other people that try to talk about um, uh, things like I, Paul Virilio, for instance, uh, with uh, his attempts uh, to talk about the oblique. And I think you have several theories today, but not so many that are very much interested into shaping architecture and uh, I believe that we have to find dialogues between the ones that analyze the context of course and, and the other ones who try to reply to it by, by shaping, by designing. So. And uh, so what is your design method? Well, it really depends, you know, on, on the type of projects. Um, every project is quite different. First of all, uh, we try to interest ourselves into the people that we have to deal with. Who is our commissioner and what are his, what is his agenda? Maybe hidden agenda also. And uh, once we tr try to understand this, we go on and then we analyze the context where we have to intervene, of course and try to include these parameters which uh, do not always fit to the agenda of the Commission, of course. And by one by one we, we come up to a quite logical uh, way of explaining architect the architecture that we try to do, but uh, we add more constraints to, to the architecture. Because I think it's, it's important not to try to escape constraints, but uh, the architect, actually his job is to add more, so that architecture finally becomes interesting. And what constraints could those be? Well, there are many, there are many. You can choose, um, you can choose uh, the light, you can choose um, flows, you can choose uh, Freedom, you, I mean, there are many possibilities. It, it always also depends on, on, on the kind of people you are addressing yourself, of course. But I think it has very much to do on freedom, you know. F finding, you know, concerning freedom, of course, is opposed, but that's maybe a nice way to, to turn it. <laughs>
you know, Aaron Kulas also has this agenda about freedom. Maybe mm -hmm. you also are interested in his work or not especially? Yeah, we all, we, our generation are the small kids from Kulas, all of us, you know, and some, you know, quite, um, you know, just continuing this legacy and, and, and some try to, you know, maybe to get to go a step further and uh, of course of course he's the major and capital person personality today and uh, yeah uh, but still i think uh, our generation has uh, uh, other types already other types of um, references maybe also and um, I think it's about to change you can feel that this generation now is, is starting a little bit you know to 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 go to go apart to fall apart in a way so but it's an interesting moment and it's a kind of you know the one that are still active you know like the MVRDV people and all these uh, generation that are the, the real sons and, and, and daughters of uh, from Kolas and then you know the grandsons and granddaughters uh, like uh, uh, the former plot and, and 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 but you know it goes on you know the, the, it's moving you know it's it's handing and that's that's interesting maybe you are part of it but not completely you know 